Hello all, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to talk about numbers in Perl scripting. First, I want to take uh, define a simple variable, $v1 equal to, let us say, 5, and $v2 equal to 2. If you want to make uh, additions, it's very simple, print $v1 plus $v2. Then print just to make a line break backslash n. If you want to have subtraction, very simple, print $v1 minus $v2. You could see Perl using almost same syntax as uh, C language. So you will know, if you know C or uh, if you know the C shell scripting, learning Perl is very simple. Again, multiplication $v1 $v2 print backslash n division print $v1 percentage $v2 print backslash n just to make a line break. Now if you want to get modulus that means the quotient alone uh, or the remainder alone modulus means A modulus B. You could see this. Uh, I made a mistake. This one should be divided by. So I'm uh, replacing it by this divided by character slash. Okay. Modulus is print dollar v one percentage dollar v two print backslash m. Okay. Let us uh, execute this Perl Perl three dot pl. Now, if you see, we had a uh, and again cat this pearl 3pl okay then if i execute it will be easy for you to understand first is the addition 5 plus 2 that is 7 second is the subtraction 5 minus 2 is 3 then multiplication uh, that is 10 5 divided by is 2.5 5 modulus 2 5 modulus 2 meaning the quotient becomes 2, 5 divided by 2, quotient is 2, remainder is 1. So this modulus symbol is the remainder 1. So it's a basic addition. You can also do pretty much like C-like additions. Let me show you. Pearl3.pl Now dollar $v1++. Plus plus, okay? Then I said print dollar v1. Okay. Let us see what happens. Now, the moment I think I didn't do a proper saving of that file. Okay. Now I think it's it's there. Yeah. Okay. It's my mistake. Now I should have given a slash n. It says six. The v1 was five. The moment you say f plus plus, it becomes 5 plus 1 is 6. Same way you can use minus minus also. Let me show you that as well. If you see here, okay, this, this syntax is pretty much same as C. Print dollar $v1 minus minus, again, print backslash n. This plus plus and minus minus, they are exactly similar to what you have got. What I did is uh, the vi, uh, v1, are you able to find the difference? v1 was 5, 5 plus was 6. It was showing that correct. But when I said v1 minus minus, it still says 6. I was expecting something else, right? I was expecting uh, one less, but it was not showing that. 
What is the reason? There is a subtle reason behind it. The moment you say, I did that here, it is a separate statement. Okay. So first this statement got executed. When it came here, V1 was 5, then it became 6, I printed that. When I came here, I did not do V1 minus minus separately, but instead, I said print dollar $V1 minus minus. That means it printed dollar $V1 only after the statement gets executed, it will do a minus. Okay. So I will show you what is the difference over here. Okay. Now, though it printed V1 here as 6, it actually decremented it when, I, when it came to this statement. When you print dollar $V1 here, you will see the difference. Now, I am showing you that. Let us execute the same stuff over here. Now, it is showing all the multiplication, division, etc. When it came here, it was 6. Then, the V1 minus my, when it came here, it was having 5, then it was incremented to 6. When I executed V1 minus minus in the print statement itself, it printed just value of V1. Once that print statement got executed, it decremented the value. After that decrementing, when I printed, it became 5. So, it is to make it further clear, if you go here, okay, if you go here, if you type minus minus over here, okay, let us see the difference. Now, you see the difference over here. When it pr printed that, it was 6. The moment you say minus minus, minus minus a variable means it first decrements then takes the printing. If you say print v1 minus minus, it first prints then decrements. So whenever you are using this uh, operators plus plus and minus minus, you have to be very careful. Either you use plus plus at the, as a suffix or a prefix. It, it takes the precedence. The moment you say plus plus as a prefix, so the addition operation happens first, then the other operations happen next. When you use that as a suffix, the preceding operation is first, then the decrementing or incrementing happens next. With this, we stop this session here on numbers.